Great, great fight. fight. PBC, baby. Home of championship boxing. Never a let up in the action. Not, not one minute. minute. And, the and the underdog, underdog had a plan and he stuck to it. He executed it. And the champ never looked like the champ. Never did. Never, never let him bully him in the last half of the, uh, the fight. And even though Hurd was really yeah, trying his best to get to Williams, he just couldn't. Williams was too sharp, too, too good tonight. With his trainer, emotional. Oh, tears, tears of joy. joy. So we are live. All my videos are live. Right now it is uh, 10.47 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to wait for them to read the cards. I'm disgusted with the commentary. Roy, uh, I was going to say motherfucking Roy Jones. Lennox Lewis, Joe Goosen, you know, and Larry Hadrid's scorecards. Not the first time. Judging by the commentary, you would think that Julian J. Rock Williams wasn't a PBC fighter himself. To be generous, eight rounds to four for J. Rock Williams. Being generous. Nine rounds to three. You know, Swift Hurd was a very nice guy. I interviewed him before he fought um, JoJo Dan here in Philly. You know, I've been covering him for quite some time. Media, all media have nothing but great things to say about him. Good story. Still living with his parents. You know, very, you know, humble guy. You know, good fighter. But he needed this. He got beat at his own game. What are they saying? Unfortunately, unfortunately, people are wondering, like, man, will he get robbed? Meaning J-Rock Williams. Will they rob him? Right now, he should be bringing the belts back home to Philly. Three of them. Let's talk. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. 154 pound, he should... Okay, to put things into perspective, Jared Swift Heard has the belt that Floyd Mayweather once had at 154 pounds, the WBA Super World title. He's the IBF title as well, in that highly coveted, even though you don't hear about it very much, to more for casual uh, fans, that highly coveted and seductive and alluring IBO title, that Jade belt. It was in the cards. It's supposed to be in the cards. And now things are all fucked up because on June the 23rd, now it's like a mini tournament going on in a way. So on June the 23rd, you have Tony Harrison, WBC champion, taking on Jamel Charlo. Also on free TV Fox. The stakes have risen because now people feel that Jamel may not be able to beat Tony Harrison. And guess who Tony Harrison lost to? Jarrett's with her. It's kind of confusing, but guess what? What if we get Tony Harrison versus Jared? What if we get Tony Harrison? Say, what if we get Tony Harrison versus Julian J. Rock Williams for all three titles? That is not in the PBC's plans. And what happens? Does Hurd go right after the? How does this work? Because Jamel was getting his rematch. You know, do they go to the well and say, "Nah, that wasn't supposed to happen." Let's give Heard his rematch against Julian J. Rock Williams. No, fuck that. Julian J. Rock Williams should get the winner of Jamal of Jamel Charlo and Tony Harrison. Remember, the blood is kind of bad there because Jamal had knocked out the Jamal had knocked out Julian J. Rock Williams. Jamal is fighting Brandon Adams, WBC um, interim champion. You know, at 160, Brandon Adams, um, June the 29th. So I'm just chewing the fat bullshit around until we hear these fucking cards because, you know, you know, a little bit of highlights. Like, I already, listen, her punches. Put it on the line against the feisty challenger and Julian Williams who set the tone early and finished strong. For the official decision from Eagle Bank Arena. Her shit just was too slow. People are going to say that weight shit. Ooh, listen in. Ladies and gentlemen, after 
12 tremendous rounds of action. The judges are in agreement. We have a unanimous decision, and here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Alfredo Polanco scores the bout 116 to 111. Judges okay. Robin Taylor and Steve the knockdown. Both scored about 115 to 112. All three in favor of the winner. And the new unified super welterweight champion of the world, Julian Redemption. Williams. Well, this is one fight that we definitely have to see again. Oh, you want a rematch already? Oh, yeah. No, no. Any rematch? Now, now, what, to Joe? You, you would get a, re you would tell, you would tell Bird, even though he's the champ. Hey, those first three rounds, you just can't, you can't do that. Well, it wasn't just the first three rounds, though. It was the next. He lost his homecoming fight. Mm, mm, mm. You know they can revisit Hurd versus Laura, or Hurd versus. Well, actually, you know I think Hurd is time for him to move to one sixty. You know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, do we really, really, really want to see Hurd versus Williams again? I mean, it's great. It will, it will probably, you know, set. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. I'm kind of on the fence. I want to listen to the post-fight interview. And it's going to be interesting to see what Iris Lindy Law and Brian Castellano is going to do. Could we see, you know, you know. Well, remember, Julian J. Rock Williams, he was the IBF mandatory. So, when it comes to the WBA, they could order him to fight Brian um, Castellano. I mean, Castano, this guy right here. J-Rock now has these two belts right here. And that IBO, as you can see. That that lovely Jade. Look how they put the IBO around the waist. The mother, They think they slick. And put the other two belts to WBA. Oh, you IBA, you lucky bastards. I bet if it was another fighter... You know, they probably wouldn't have been able to get away with that. Because they'd be like, hold up, now, nah, put this belt first. Either WB or the IBF. I'm happy for him, though. So, we got to listen to the post-fight interview. Because, honestly, I really thought they was going to try to rob him, man. I thought they was going to try to rob that brother, man. With the way the commentary was acting. So, I'm going to pause for a little bit. And we're going to be right back. Please subscribe. We cover every single major fight live. And uh, we're going to wrap it up. I'm sorry. I want to see personally. I want to see now, you know, Jamel Charlo, Tony Harrison versus, um, hold up. Hey, copyright. Leave me alone. They're trying to give me that copyright. You see? But yeah, you know, he was sharp on the inside too. He literally beat him at his own game. He beat him at his own game. He bullied the weight bully. Look at that IBO belt. They think they slick. They're getting that prime time, baby. Let's listen in to the post-fight interview. This decision over Jared Hurd. Next, next fight. A good, a good one. For former Super Welterweight champ Austin, Austin No Doubt Trout facing Olympian. Of course I'm going to cover this. And that's May 25th on the Fox Sports app, but also you'll see it live on FS1. To the ring and Heidi Androff. Thank you very much, Chris. People heads cut off. Gotta fix that. You told me I feel like I'm dreaming. You're not dreaming. You've got a lot. You gotta make some room in the house for all this hard work. Describe this emotion right now. First of all, I want to say I'm humbly I'm just so blessed. Andy fasting, right? Moment. You, you, you just told me you've worked for this since Ew. four years old. He got the unified. We need the Sixers to win tomorrow. I just kept making plenty of duas for my career and my family. I don't want to cry. Don't worry. You worked really hard in this camp. You you went away from home twice to California. How much did that make a difference for you? Because not many guys can keep Jarrett Hurd along the ropes like you did in this fight. Well, first of all, I, I went away to camp in February. For the whole month of February, 
Then I went back out there in April. I missed my daughter's birthday. She just turned four years old. I know she's happy. I'm just so blessed, man. I'm gonna be glad. I'm gonna be glad. I'm just so blessed. J Jared was such a great fighter, and he pushed me. But I got so motivated because everybody was doubting me. I just, I just turned my Twitter off, turned my Instagram off. I block all the good stuff and all the bad stuff because the boxing world, they make it seem like fighters take a loss and they can't come back. And I, I just knew that that wasn't the case. Boxing world, stop condemning fighters after they take a loss. It's boxing, things happen. Plenty of great fighters took losses and plenty, and they, and they went on to be great fighters. Yeah, you gotta keep supporting Jack, because Jerry is a great fighter. He pushed me to the limit. I tell, I tell him all the time, his, his family is super classy. His, his, his mother, mother I, don't I don't know her name, I'm gonna call her Mrs. Turd. What's her name? What's her name? Brenda. Miss Brenda, she's such a classy woman. I, 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 I didn't even, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say it, but I didn't even want to speak to her that much, much because she said, it was gonna be like she was like trying to soften me up for a second. But she's such a sweetheart. She's such a sweetheart. And she, she gave me that motherly feeling as you know I lost my mother a couple years ago, so I respect her so much I don't even know her because she's a mother and she's just anybody could be that classy to a, a man that's about to try to hurt her son. She's a she's a she's a good woman. So I just want to commend her mother, commend his mother for being such a great person. Most definitely, uh, you're a pretty classy guy yourself. You know, there's a rematch clause I hear in this contract. Would you like to have the rematch with Jared Hurd or? Up next, there's a, there's a rematch, rematch going on June 23rd at Mandalay Bay. It's Tony, Tony Harrison, Jamel Charlo. What would you like next? Uh, that's not my that's not my business right now. You know, I'm gonna just enjoy my win. If Jared wanna do a rematch, we could do it in Philadelphia. I'm pretty sure Philadelphia welcomed Jared Hurt, just like how they welcomed me. I want to shout out to uh, shout out to uh, Fairfax, Virginia, wherever we at, uh, Maryland, DMV area. They was, they was real good. It wasn't too ignorant. It wasn't too ignorant towards me. So uh, I just want to shout out everybody here. And uh, I, I want to thank Al Hammond because, man, let me tell you something, right? When I first came out the amateurs, really nobody wanted me. And I was in a terrible contract with Gary Shaw. And Al Hammond got me out of my contract. And let me tell you something. I don't want to brag, but I got a million dollars worth of properties and I just won the title. I never won. I never fought. I only fought for the title one time. One time. Al Hammond is, a, is such a great guy. You just fought for the title twice and you got three belts. You know right. I got to go right. talk right. to Jared. Right. 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 Congratulations on an incredible right. win here tonight. I want to shout out my Jazra and Zara and, and Abigail. Right. I love y'all. I'll be home soon with all the belts. I told y'all. Allahu Akbar! All right, there you have it. The new. The new. There he is. And that's what they don't, a lot of people don't understand about Al Hammond, how he set you up. You expected this one to First, you got a lot of people here. What would you like to say to your family? Don't mean you have to suck his dick, though. Hey, hey listen, man. man. I could have better homecoming. This one, only thing made it better if I came out with the victory. But listen, I thank you all, you guys out here for the love and support. You said in, the, in advance of this fight, you thought he had a little bit of nerves. You might have had a little bit of nerves. Do you think having all of this maybe added a little bit of pressure? And how were you feeling coming in tonight? Oh, uh, no, no, no. It's just that J-Rod was a better man tonight. You know, uh, he, 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 he put me down for my first time in my career, and he came out with a victory. No, no nerves had anything to do with this. Your eye. We saw you, you go into it several times. What was the issue there? Yeah, man, I suffered two cuts, you know, uh, but uh, I, I was able to finish through the fight. You know, man, j Rod was just a better man tonight, man. But like I said, I want to thank everybody that came out here tonight. And uh, I'll be back, baby. You know, I'll be back. Thank you so much, Jarrett. Class act. A couple of them right here in the ring here in Fa Fairfax, Virginia. Chris, we'll send it back over to you. And already our Linux. Yeah. You know, it's going to be really interesting to see what he does next, especially now that we know about that rematch clause, right? And also, I would love to see the fight in Philly. You know, he's unified. We need to keep up this consistency in bringing fights to Philly. We had some really good cards here on um, the last several televised uh, cards here in Philly. We even had one here last night from uh, Warfare Sports I'm going to be covering um, in the morning. I didn't get a chance to get to it today. So, shout out to J-Rock Williams, man. You know, I'm glad they didn't rob him. Now, it's going to be really interesting to see what he does. You know, they got to keep that momentum going. But honestly, you know, like in, in the chat, let me know, like, do you really want her? I mean, J-Rock her too, you know, or do you want to to to, to see J-Rock go on to fight the winner of Tony Harrison, Jamel Charlo? Maybe J-Rock go fight a Brian Castellano or something like that. Or because Erickson Lubin is creeping up on that. I don't know. I want them to continue this out, you know. And stop trying to, you know, I understand they want Hurd and, and Jamel, but I think it's just, I think it's lost its luster.
Don't get me started with the WBO and what they're doing. I'm Tea Street Controversy. This is Tea Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.